One, two, one, two, one, two. Hi, okay, hello guys, can you hear me well? Hola, buenas noches. En hello. un momento ya en casa y para encender la cámara porque no ha llegado. Ok, Reina, ¿me escucha? Sí, ahorita sí. Ok, ¿y se oye bien? Sí, se escucha. Ok, ok, thank you. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening, Ursula. How are you? I'm okay. How about you? I'm doing great, too. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna wear these headsets because I'm afraid. I'm afraid that the audio doesn't get recorded, so I better. Okay, is that better? Can you hear me better? Ursula, say something. Sing me a song. Hello, hello. Oh, thank you. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's better. It's just that I'm, I'm testing a new, a new HD camera, and I was trying the microphone. The, the microphone is is incorporated. Hold on. Okay. Hello, Daisy. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. You were not in class yesterday, right? Hmm. What happened to you yesterday? Hello? What happened to you yesterday? No, vine tarde a la casa. Ajá, y como me mantengo manejando, entonces... Por eso no me, no me conecté. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm just accessing the platform so we can review some things. Hey, Edwin, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, who remembers yesterday's class? What was our topic yesterday? Using there is, there are. That is right. Now, I gave you the whole grammar topic yesterday, but tonight we'll continue with the same topic and it's more focused on questions using there is, there are, or is there, are there. Basically, yeah. I'm going to work tonight on page 21. Okay, let's do the attendance so we can start working following the, um, the lesson plan for tonight. So, we have 13 students right now. Alexa Marcela Cibrián de Montenegro. 
Ari Isabel Campos Hernández. Daisy Carolina Angulo de Sánchez. Oh, yes. Edwin Esaú Galdames Calderón. Present. Thank you. Did I mention Dalila Vidalil Hernández Melendez? Let me see here. Elizabeth del Carmen Vasquez Perez. Present teacher. Great. Erlin Metisedex Castro Cortez. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Henry Giovanni Rivas Rivera. Henry is here. Acuérdense de encender su cámara solo en estos minutos para que quede grabado el rostro en la conferencia. Y después no hay problema con la auditoría. Tenemos que saber que son ustedes los que están recibiendo la clase, ¿ok? Irma Noemí de Jesús Martínez. Present, teacher. Okay. Jennifer Benítez y Lucía Cepeda. Present, teacher. Okay. Jill Yvonne Menjibar de Castellanos. Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilar Catherine Beatriz Reyes Ventura Here María Epifania Castro Present teacher Excelente. Marta Marisol Castillo Valladares Present teacher Excelente. Oscar Humberto Argueta Present teacher Thank you. Reina Elizabeth García Alfaro. Present. Present. Silvia Evelyn Romero Bautista. Present, teacher. Se oye bien suave. Ok, eso, eso quería ver con ustedes porque estoy probando otros settings. Pues, hey, is that better? Está mejor, ¿verdad? Yeah, sí. Yes. Speaker, ok. Good. Ok. Eh, Sonia Esmeralda Mauricio Orellana. Y Úrsula Steli Gómez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Sonia's not here. Ok, great job. Thank you for being with us tonight. Let's start. Um, well, yesterday we talked about there is and there are. When do we use there is? When it's singular. When it is singular, okay, or? Countables. Mm. Uncountables. Uncountables, right? What are uncountables, Ursula? Uncountable. Mm -hmm. Is, for example, water, oil. Oh, liquids. Okay. Uh, love, for example. Love. love. Okay. We call those abstract ideas, right? Abstract love. Abstract ideas. Uh -huh. Freedom, information, all of that, you cannot count it. Money. What do we money. need? What do we need to count money? Bills and coins. Bills and coins. <laughs> currency. Uh huh. We need currency. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What's our currency, by the way? What is El Salvador's currency? Dollars. Dollars. Very good. Okay. So, and when do we use there are? When it's plural. When it's plural, as simple as that. Countables, things that you can count, as simple as that. Okay, so yesterday we saw that grammar uh, and it, it was on page, starting on page 19, then we saw the grammar on page 20, we saw some examples, but just to say if there is something we made some examples and we correct them. 
right? There are two branches in El Salvador. There is one facility available. There are new offices. Mm, there are no materials to work. And here it was, there are three boxes in the lobby or there are not three boxes in the lobby, okay? Now, let's get in pairs, in couples or trios in this case, and let's talk about what is there in your office. As simple as that. For example, can somebody give me an example? What is there in your office or your job? A living room. There is a living room. Remember, there is, there are. Okay, mm -hmm. there is uh, some bedrooms. There are some bedrooms, good. Mm. Uh -huh. There is a cafeteria. There's a cafeteria, cafeteria. 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 Uh -huh. There is a cafeteria. What else? There are many offices. There are many offices? Uh, or meeting rooms? No, offices. Okay. And so that's what you have to describe. Now, I want you to, to make a bird view. Make a bird view of your office. You know what is a bird view? Imagine that you're a bird and you're flying and you're seeing your office from, from above. So if you see your office from above, there is a parking lot, there is an entrance, there is a reception, there is a beautiful young uh, red hair receptionist. Remember, it's important for you to practice describing people or objects, right? So that's, that's very important. There is a fat, big, brown, bold security guard at the entrance. Okay? Describing that, all of that, you can say. Okay, then after the lobby, uh, there is a hole, there's an aisle, okay? There's an aisle and there are big doors. There are big doors that you have to go through and like a hundred cubicle, cubicles, cubicles, work stations. Everybody's talking in the office. There's There are a lot of calls on the floor. And that, and there is a production floor. There are managers everywhere. You see? Si sí, no tiene muchas cosas oficina, make it up. Okay? Make it up. What is make it up? What's make it up? Come on, guys. like imagine exactly invented i don't like saying invented okay make it up is the right word it's like maquillelo right makeup <laughs> that's a phrasal verb make it up inventeselo okay so let's go please have a conversation and you will do the conversation in here in the main class so do your best we're going to work together tonight Everybody has to participate, so let's go.
summer friends. Start. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. María. Hola, Catherine. Hola. Creo que estaba ausente. Especial. I'm sure a uh, special place for a girl with a green arm. Vale, dijo que escribiéramos la oficina o algo así. No entiendo. I have a nice office. Uh, a model building. Dice que sería. Perdón. Hablar sobre las cosas que hay en nuestro lugar de trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Como, como describir, les decía, su oficina, su trabajo, eh, desde una perspectiva de un pájaro. Imagínense que usted va viendo desde arriba su oficina, si no tuviese techo, claro. Por uh ejemplo, -huh. uh, can I say, I have a nice office in a modern building. Uh, there I have, uh, there I have at my desk. A comfortable armchair. There is a comfortable armchair uh -huh. in okay, my office. There is. Okay. Uh -huh. Ese es el punto, usar so there is, there are. Ah, okay. uh -huh. ah podrían decir también lo que no hay. A comfortable. Uh -huh. um, there there, is... María, there isn't an air conditioning. Oh my yeah. God. Okay. Sterile. Yeah. Air conditioner. There, but but there are fans everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but okay. It's like hell. Uh -huh. <laughs> like hell. <laughs> okay. It's really hot right now. Yes. Very. Sería depende todos los objetos que se encuentren dentro del... Más que los objetos, la, la distribución de, de, su, de, su, de su lugar de trabajo. El estacionamiento, el lobby, las oficinas, los baños. Eh, si hay maternity room, si tienen clínica, por ejemplo. O sea, ese tipo de cosas. ¿Ya? Ok. Ya okay. Yo no sé por qué la Melissa no lleva ya... Teacher, ¿será posible que nos ayude? Tenemos una confusión acá sobre si, o sea, la descripción que tenemos que hacer son como, como oraciones explicando lo que tenemos o... ¿Mm? Sí, así era. Decía desde la perspectiva de, un, de la vista de pájaro, ¿no? Imagínense que no tiene techo su oficina. ¿Qué es lo que hay? So, there's a parking lot, there's a lobby, um, there, are, there is a restroom on the right hand side, there is a big aisle, there are no fans, but there is AC, there is air conditioning. Y el punto es usar negativas y positivas de there is, there are, con los objetos, lo, la ubicación de las cosas en su oficina. ¿Are we clear? ¿Estamos bien? Yes. Ok. Hola, teacher. Hello, Sonia. Eh, nosotros, dada la casualidad que los dos eh, íbamos entrando 
a la reunión cuando nos mandaron a las salas. Uh -huh. Pero lo que entendí fue de que tenemos que hacer una conversación eh, comentando lo que hay en las oficinas donde trabajamos, ¿verdad? Exacto, ajá. ¿Qué objetos hay en su oficina? ¿Cómo está distribuida la, la, los lugares de la oficina? ¿El parqueo? ¿Los baños? ¿Si hay um, clínica empresarial? Si no hay aire acondicionado, si hay aire acondicionado, si hay ventiladores, um, si dónde está su oficina, si está junto a, a la de su jefe. Pero el punto es decir, hay, hay, there is, there aren't, there aren't, there isn't. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. There are, there is. Ajá, el, el, el utilizar el, 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 plural, el, plural, el plural y el singular. Uh -huh. En positivo y en negativo, correcto. En positivo y en negativo, ¿ok? Ok. Uh, entonces sería, what is your company? Uh, Como la pregunta uh, después del saludo. ¿Cómo? La, esa sería la pregunta después del saludo. Primero el saludo, después la pregunta. Ah, uh -huh, uh, entonces sería, good night. Ay, <ríe> cámara. Ay, no. Ay, no. Bien, vamos a hablar de, de lo que hay en la oficina o en el trabajo. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo diría hay alrededor de 50 empleados en mi oficina? Around. ¿Hm? Around. There are. There are. In my office. Ah, there are around 50. Employees. Oh, uh -huh. In my office. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. There is air conditioning. There is a parking lot for 10 vehicles. There is a lobby. There are three bathrooms, three restrooms. Um, y así, ¿no? Describir qué es lo que hay en la oficina, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Podría usar negativas. There aren't, o oh, there isn't air conditioning. And there okay. aren't fans. Por ejemplo. Ok. Ok, okay. entendido. There is a bathroom. There is a bathroom. There are, there are, there is a close to home. And the farm, there are, hmm? Right. ¿No te gusta qué? Que no le gusta el poder. Ay, wow. 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 Ay, Doors. 
Hello. In my office, uh, we have uh, um, an area. Um, then, uh, there, for instance, uh, how do you say Statements, bank statements, uh, account uh -huh. statements. Mm -hmm. the, there yeah. are some printers, big prints. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But um, we can call print shops. You can print? Um, and we can print <coughs> invoice. invoices. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Invoices and um, uh, documents and uh, books. There are a uh, well, una máquina que en sobra. Una máquina que qué? En sobra. Que, que mete el, el, digamos, la, el estado de cuenta en el sobre. Oh, there's a envelope. machine that puts the envelope. Puts the, puts the, the pages on the envelope. In the envelope. envelope. Okay. Teacher, it's correct. We can call that area print shop. The printing area. Printing area. Okay. Yeah, or the print. Yeah, <laughs> it's a printing area. Aha, uh -huh, Maria or Catherine. Yo, yo. Mm -hmm. Is correct. Uh, there is a bottle of water. There is a bottle of water in my desk. Yeah, in your office, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat. Mm -hmm. Is it correct to say? Is it is it correct to say? Is it is it correct to say? Ah, uh, que bien común decir. It is correct. No. Okay. Uh -huh. It is correct. No. Because is it? Uh huh. Is it correct to say? Yes, it is correct. Is it correct to say? <laughs> More practice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. ah. ¿Y cómo se dicen planchas de vapor, las planchas para planchar ropa? Pero ya no son las que con la mesa, sino que las que se planchan con, así, a, a las planchas a vapor. En el aire. A steam, a steam iron. Steam iron. It should be a compound word. Steam iron. Like this, uh, like that, like that. Steam iron. Literal, plancha de vapor. <coughs> okay. Yeah, 
Teacher, una pregunta. Estábamos encontrando este como de almacenamiento, como de bodega. Pero está bien así. That's really good. <laughs> O sea, the sealer run. Sealer run? Porque si, si, si traduzco directamente bodega, eh, nos aparece store. Pero store uh -huh. puede significar muchas cosas. Ah, pero eso, sealer room, es un sótano o no? Más ah, o menos. Hijo, está lloviendo, anda a meterme los cacos. Sí, porque. Uh, Store, a store mm -hmm. could be, uh -huh. that, that's the way, a uh, store is more common for almacén. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or storage room. Storage. La de warehouse. What, which one? Warehouse. Oh, warehouse, uh-huh. Esa es otra manera. Hay muchas formas de decir eso. Pero el warehouse es más como la como cuando una empresa tiene una, una bodega principal. Esa es la warehouse. Mm -hmm. okay. Y ahí, ahí va todo, la de las, uh, más que todo la materia prima, si tiene varias uh, branches, varias Exacto. sucursales. En mi caso, la galvaniza a a a big warehouse. It's a big company and it has many branches. So the main warehouse is somewhere, right? And then the other branches, the branches have warehouses. I mean, they have storage rooms or stores to store the the product. Man, it's big. Galvanista is huge, right? Entonces, podríamos dejarlo como main warehouse? Así? If it is the main warehouse, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Tengo problema con esa palabra. Which one? Cool? Se me había pegado genial. Y luego dije, <laughs> no, la hay que cambiarla, hay que cambiarla. Se me pegó cool. Okay. Un tanto difícil ah, it's okay. As long as you speak in English, that's cool. Okay. Good job, guys. Alessandro. Yeah, nada más. Uh -huh. Ay, Dios. Hay una cafetería. Uh -huh. Quiero ver qué más. Eso sería, there is a ca cafetería. There is. There is a cafetería. Eh, eh, hay muchos escritorios. Hay un ascensor. There is a uh -huh, cafetería. Quiero ver. Este. Hay un ascensor que sería. Ah, pero aquí. Pero aquí me lo pone raro. Porque me pone. Is there. In ele elevator. Ele elevator. A saber cómo se llama. Elevator. Pero no me okay. lo pone como there is. Sino que me lo pone, uh, is there. Me lo pone al revés. Uh -huh. <coughs> We have... Uh, 
Bueno, ahí lo, lo puede. Y yo solo a Marta le estoy poniendo que describa todo. Ay, no. Bueno, Ay, este... Marta. Marta, este donde dice, is there an elevator? Yo pienso que lo cambiemos y le pongamos, is there is... Um, ele elevator Sí, este le puede cambiar sí, Yo digo que sí ¿Qué más hay en su oficina? Um, quiero ver Ay, no sé. Hay eh. escritorios Sí, escritorios, computadoras Ay, quiero ver. Los baños <risa> um, Ay, no sé, quiero ver Los... No, no podríamos Ay. poner que también hay una bodega donde se guarda producto. Bien. Sí, ¿verdad? Ah, Le podemos poner, hay una bodega. Ajá. Hay una bodega, quiero ver. Y acá me dice, there is a seller. Eso, seller es bodega. bodega. Creo que where... Warehouse. Aquí me dice there is a seller. Quiero ver, pero así me lo ver. traduce. Hay una bodega. Bodega. Uh -huh. Bodega, me parece. Le voy a poner que hay tres salas de reunión. A mí me parece inglés en inglés, store. ¿Mm? Bodega. ¿Cómo le aparece? Espérame. A mí aquí en Google me, me tira, there is a seller. Seller es bodega, supuestamente. O no sé si. Store. Store o store. Room. Store, store, ajá, store me store, parece, ajá. Storage room. Voy a quedar en las dos. Storage room. Storage. Ok. War area. ¿Me hiciste la pregunta a mí? <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, okay. Good evening. Early. Twenty second. In my work, in my job, there are around seven employees, and there is a cash register, and there is not. Aire a conditioning, conditioning, and I there are many funds. There is a living area where we have a dining room, refrigerator, microwave, and there is a parking service for customers. There is a family pantry supermarket. Wow. Our winner race, and there is a very large sales room. We are located Santa Ana City. Finish. Good evening. We Rayon. are located. We are located in Santa Ana City. We are located Santa Ana City. In Santa Ana City. In Santa Ana City. Sorry. Está bien así, teacher. Hi. 
<laughs> In my work area, there are two desks. Desks. There are also three bases. There is one computer and there is also one window uh, to serve a customer. You said, um, you said desks, 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 uh -huh. desks. good, desk, okay, and bases, se pronuncia así, base, what is base, bases, bases es floreros, oh, flower base, flower bases, Ah, uh, flower bases. Okay. It is. Edwin, what's in your work area? Hi. <laughs> in my job. There are around seven employees. There is a cash register. There is a not air a conditioner. And I and if there are many funds, there is a living area where we have a dining room refrigerator, microwave. There is a parking service for customers. There is a family pantry supermarket. There are winners. And there is a very large sales room. We are located location in Santa Ana City. We are located. We are located. Lo located. Located. In Santa Ana City. Okay. One minute. Are, are we, what's in your work area? Fear. There is a administrative room. Also, there is a solar. Also, there is the room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining. Dining room. Mm -hmm. Dining room. Y, y finally, there are many machi machis, oh, machis, no. Machinery, machines? Mach machines, machines. It is also located, located in El Salvador. It's also located in El Salvador. El Salvador. In El Salvador. Edwin. Edwin, can you describe your work area? Can you describe your work area? Describe, describe your describe your work area. Your work area. Work area. Work area. Good. Okay, let's go.
Okay. I didn't want to stop you because you were very excited. Like everybody was preparing something. Okay, so who wants to go first? Or should we follow the order? Should we follow the order? Group one, group two, group three, group four? Yes, okay. I'm gonna do what Reina says. So the order. Alexa, Catherine, Maria, and Ursula. If you can describe your offices. Okay. In my office, um, there are two security guards. There are two security guards. Okay. One is in the entrance. And the other one is in the exit. And there is a receptionist. He's a, um, sorry, she's that she's tall, thin, she has a long black hair, and she's very kind. In the first floor, there are, there is a sales department. And there are four managers. There is a printing area and inside there are different kinds kind of machines. There is a warehouse. There are two parking lots. There are two bedrooms. There are some trees like mango trees, avocado trees, and the and almond trees. In the second floor, there is a general manager office. There are three mini rooms. There is a technician department. There is an accounting department. There is a cafeteria. There are two bathrooms. And there is an IT department. Good job. And there is no gym. <laughs> there, there is what? No gym. Oh, there is no gym. <laughs> Good. Good. I would job. like it. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> They are trying to hire me from from a call center and and that's the most attractive thing that they have a gym. They have a gym mm -hmm. for employees is amazing. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> okay, good job. Thank you. So that was a participant from group number one. Let's go with someone from group number two, Daisy, Eduardo, Elizabeth, or Jennifer. Someone from group number two. Okay, me. <laughs> eh, teacher, puedo compartir un ratito la pantalla. Sí. Okay. Nosotros hicimos algo así. In the principal offices or the main offices. There is a parking lot, there is a living room, there are two meeting rooms, there is a snack bar, uh, there is an office, there are restaurants, there is a main warehouse and a dispatch area. Uh, we look for this and there is not a dining room, there is not a kitchen, there is no reception, there is no a yard and there are no branches. There is no, I'm sorry, before the branches. Yard? Oh, there's there's no there's there no is no yard. yard. There's no yard. There's no yard. Sounds better. Uh-huh. There's no yard. Right. Mm 
There's no backyard, there's no front yard, no. there's no yard. No. Okay. There are no trees and there are no no plants, etc. etc. Et <laughs> wow. Okay. Etc. etc. That's it. Repeat, etc. etc. That sounds better. Okay, good job. Uh, thank you for the drawing. That that was very illustrative. It was really good. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Group number three. One person from group number three. One, one student. Henry, Marta, Oscar, or Sonia. Okay, teacher. Hmm. Hello, Henry. How are you? Hi, hello, hello, Emeralda. Very good, thank you. And and you? Fine, thank you. I present to you, Marta, our new our new office partner. Nice to meet you, Marta. Thanks, anyway. Okay, and our there in our office there uh, there is there are three offices one is for communication another is the technical area and the other is for the church and community there is a kitchen area there are two bathrooms there is a parking lot for the vehicles of the employees. Um, there are five printers. There is not customer service office. There is a meeting room. There is a technology area. There is a store. There is and elevator. Thank you. Thank you very much for very much for your help, Henry. See you later. Okay, that was really good. Thank you. And this is real life, right? When you when you are new at a job, the first thing they do is the induction the induction to the facilities. This is the first thing. I love that. Induction to the facilities, which is what we're doing. We're describing how the um, the complex, the facility is. Hey, um, let me correct some things, some areas of improvement here. Uh, I present to you, Martha. Let me introduce you to Martha, our new coworker. Let me introduce you to Martha, our new coworker. Martha, this is Henry. Henry, she, he, this is Martha. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, pronunciation. Area. 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 What area do you work for? Area. Area. Okay. Bath rooms. Bath rooms. Hay una diferencia entre bathrooms y restrooms. ¿Alguien se la sabe? Yes. Bathroom is when they're in the office. Mm. And it's only for employees. Mm. Restrooms is for all people. It's public. It's public. Mm -hmm. Yes, in essence, that's the difference. A restroom, a restroom only has a WC, okay, a toilet. There's just a toilet and a sink. And a sink. That's it. Sometimes just the toilet and the sink to wash your hands. It's outside. It's outside. 
like in gas stations, for example. In gas stations, you will only find the toilet and outside you can wash your hands. Um, bathrooms. In, in the airport? At the, at the airport? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, but that's the point. If there is a bath, how do you say Tina in English? Bath tube, okay? And if there is, there is a bath, you know, there is a shower, that's the point. If there is a shower, then that's a bathroom, bathroom. So you can take a bath, you can take a shower, okay? That's like general culture, okay? Restroom, let, let me go to the restroom. And if you're visiting someone in their house, of course, that is a bathroom. That is a bathroom. Okay. Uh, bathrooms. Hey, be a calls. Vehicle. 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 Vehicles. Vehicles. Not an easy word. This is a difficult word. Customer. Customer service. Office. Just yeah, so it's a customer. Uh, customer. Customer service office. Oh, an elevator. Otra cosa que yo decía también. Es decir, en 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 lugar de an an elevator y traten de unir si la palabra que precede al artículo empieza con vocal únanlo an elevator an apple easy an elevator an apple an ant an ant etc good job okay let's go uh, with the last group group number four Arely Edwin Erling and Reina Hi, Edwin. What, what's in your work area? Hi, Reina. Good evening. Um, and work on tropicals, almost in tropicals. The work areas are, there is a customer service area we are um, around seven employees. Do not air a conditioner, but it many funds. There is free parking for customers. There is a room with refrigeration, refrigerator, microwave, and dinner room. Good evening, Reina. Could, could, you, could you describe your ideas of work? Yes, good evening. In my work area, there are two desks. Uh, all today are three flowers braces and there is one computer and there is also one window to serve a customer. That's all. Okay, simple, simple, great job. And again, the word is area, area, area. Let's do something. Let's do something. Let's do something. One of the first links, one of the primary links que yo les envié era juglish.com. Me gusta que ustedes le ponen mucho esfuerzo a cualquier actividad que hacemos y eso, es, eso dice mucho. Thank you, guys. Uh, so I'm going to just share my audio. Hold on. Audio, 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 audio. Teacher, no es audio. No, audio, audio, audio. Let's see. Yet more rain falls on the surface area of Tucson area. in a year. We were uh, in a three state area. Area. Uh, An exciting area in the next couple of years. Area. So I imagine that that is an area that's going to expand. An area. In an area of Ethiopia. 
area. Dad, in the Adirondack Mountains, a wilderness area in... Area. <laughs> okay. Hey, you see, that's the way you use that app, that website. It's very useful. You can get a lot of vocabulary from there. Okay. So, give me just a minute. Let me check something really quick. Uh, I don't know. This is not it. Okay. Um, I want you to have a tour on the best place to work in Earth. So what we're going to do right now is just take vocabulary, get an idea of what is the best place to work in the entire world. And this is not something that I came up with. God. It was literally, literally named the best place to work. Now, what I want you to do is watch this video uh, for... Uh, let's watch the video. Okay, it's a seven-minute video, but I want you to take vocabulary. Vamos a empezar a practicar algo que se hace mucho en intermedio y en avanzado, que es el uso de, de estos recursos, pero muy um, sabiamente. ¿Cómo es eso? Vas a encender los closed captions de YouTube con el video, asegúrate de que estén en inglés, ¿sí? Y la misión de todos es conseguir cinco palabras o verbos que no conocías. Okay. And what is their meaning? So, for example, if I see the verb, I don't know, let me see. Comprised. Comprised. So I have to find the meaning. Comprised. Comprise, comprised is in past. Okay, so what's the meaning of comprise? Uh, comprise is, you know, it's when you put things all together and you push them. So it's like a one thing, you know, into one and so on. Five words you need to find. But right now I need you to tell me what are these facilities, you know, what is inside these facilities? Because you will find a lot of things and you will be like, oh my God, I want to work there. Okay, so let me share the link and let's stay here. Okay, vamos a quedarnos acá y repito, enciendan sus closed captions, sus subtítulos de YouTube. Bien, ahí va el video, lo voy a ver en ambos uh, chats, el de WhatsApp y el de Zoom. Para Lee, espero que se mejore el problema de la conexión. Ok, so let's watch the video. Vamos a sacarnos todos en silencio. Y tomamos nota de cinco palabras que no conocíamos o verbos. Y principalmente, what is there? ¿Qué hay en estas facilities que te llamó más la atención? So, there is, there are. One, two, three, son siete minutos. Let's go. Yo no escucho nada, no sé si ya está sonando. Eh, no, tú, tú eh, bueno, cada quien tiene que poner el video, perdón, véanlo por su cuenta el video, ¿sí? Eh, póngale eh, subtítulos, como les decía, en inglés, no en español, ¿sí? Y buscar cinco palabras y qué hay en estos lugares, qué hay. Por ejemplo, there is a clinic, there is an on-site clinic, there are... A ver quién cuenta más cafeterías. So let's go. Otra vez. Son siete minutos. ¿Alguien más? ¿Estamos bien todos? Cada quien viendo el video por su cuenta. Right? Ok. Uno, dos, tres. Let's go.
Okay. I see you excited, Edwin. <laughs> Did you like the video? Yes. What else do you need in your workplace? <laughs> yeah. It's a great place to work. Not just a gym. How many how many gyms were there? Seventeen. Seventeen in total. Sixteen something. Sixteen or seventeen. I, <laughs> wow. I don't it very well. Now on the main offices, how many games were there? So just jumping into the subject of this class, are there five games in Jacksonville or four? Are there five gyms or four in Jacksonville? And four. Four? Four. Are you saying four, Eduardo? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, there, there are four genes in Jacksonville. How many? No, no, no. I cannot say how many yet. Are there eight cafeterias in Jacksonville's facilities? Or are there nine? Vamos, hay que participar. De la respuesta me la tienen que dar con there is or there are, right? So, are there eight cafeterias or nine cafeterias in the main office? There are nine cafeterias. There are nine cafeterias. Cafeterias. Wow. Cafeteria. Okay, next question. Is there a pool? Is there a pool on Jacksonville's offices? Is there a pool in Jacksonville's offices? There is not a pool. There is not a pool? Not. Hmm. Yes, there is a pool, right? It was at the beginning of the video, but they, they didn't show it anymore. They just show it once. Hmm. Are there four blocks on the size of the offices? Are there four blocks on the size of the offices in Jacksonville? How many blocks are there? Are there four blocks? Or are there seven buildings in this office in Jacksonville? No idea? Yes, there were seven buildings. Easier, easier. Is there a doctor's office? Yes. Okay, that was easy. Is there a doctor's office? Um, question, is there free food? Yes. Yeah. 
a lot of food. Don't just say yes. Yes, there is free food. Amazing, right? Is there free coffee? Yes, there is. All the free coffee. Yes, there is all the free coffee you want. Um, what else? Is there a place to sleep in the office? Yes. Yes. There are sleeping pods. There are sleeping pods. Yes. Hey, don't you wish you had a, just one sleeping pod right in your house? Wow. That would be relaxing. Okay. Mm, what else? What else? What else? What did you see? What did you see? Tell me. Teacher, there is a clinic. Teacher, there is a massage room. What did you see? There is a laundry area. <gasps> yes, there is a laundry area. There's a laundromat. Can you imagine doing the laundry after your job? I mean... But I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, why is it not crowded, right? Why is it not crowded, not full of employees, the laundromat? It was just one guy doing the laundry. It was weird. Everybody should do it. Okay. What else? What else did you see? There is. A big aquarium. A big aquarium in one of the offices. Offices that that's in, in Swiss Switzerland, Swiss, right? Swiss, Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. Hey, qué raros son los, los suizos, verdad? They don't have a disco. They have a library <laughs> to take a tea and read a book. That's good. Okay. One more. Bien, alguien de los que no está participando, chicos. Ok, Reina, ajá. <laughs> uh, there are many gyms. There are many gyms. It's true. Ok. Bien, vamos con las palabras que encontraron. My case, in my case, um, well, I know the meaning, but I found these three concepts, let's say. Office perk. What is an office perk? Do you have perks in your It's office? like a benefit. Excellent, Daisy. Good. Benefit. It's a benefit. Uh huh. <laughs> Daisy, sorry. Yes, that's an office benefit. Uh, many call centers nowadays they have gyms, they have game rooms, they have huge cafeterias munchies you know many things uh gas guzzlers gas guzzlers that's uh, a car that consumes a lot of fuel a lot of gas you know the regular gas the regular car they have electric cars instead of gas guzzlers running some errands remember what i told you errands running some errands if you need to go running some errands, they give you the car. What words did you find or phrases on this video? I got a uh, hook it up fancy job style. Okay. But I don't know what the meaning. Can you type it on the chat? Vamos a hacer esto ya que le da pena hablar a todos. Vamos al chat de Zoom. Pónganse las palabras que encontraron. Si tienen el significado, good. Si no, pues lo buscamos juntos. Ok. Vamos a compartir knowledge. Let's share knowledge. Solo tengo cuatro estudiantes con cámaras encendidas. Me siento... ¿Cómo dijo Maná? Me siento so, solo. Solo. Yo tengo Maná's conexión, teacher. Maná's conexión, ¿cómo así? Manas conexión. 
De Bad hecho, connection. de hecho se me trabó el video y ya no pude verlo. Ah. Oh. Ok, Henry. Pero sí, les recomiendo que lo vea, lo estudie, saque vocabulario de ahí. Para que se emocione. That's the point of this video, for you to get excited. Assets, yes. Uh -huh. There are fixed assets. Fixed assets. And I can't remember the other one. Hook it up. Fancy Java style. Hook it up. Where did... Wow. <laughs> okay. So, hook it up is enganchalo, right? Hook it up. To hook you up. Let me hook you up. Es un verbo frasal. Hook up. Úrsula. Hook up es okay. yo trabajo en anda. Let me hook you up. Te voy a hacer el gancho. Te voy a hacer el cuello. Let me hook you up. Fancy es fresa a lo, a lo distinguido de lo, ¿cómo se dice? Picky. That's the word in Spanish. Java style. Al estilo Java. Hacen referencia. Um, antes había un lenguaje de programación llamado Java que se ocupaba. Para, ya, ya no existe. Pero el símbolo de ese software, no sé cómo llamarle ese lenguaje, era una tacita de café, así pequeña. Entonces ya ha estado, porque en esa parte del video sale sirviéndose un expreso, súper expreso, si se fijaron. Le puso un montón de café y salió un chorrito de café. Man, eso sí lo despierta uno en solo. Ok, vamos rápido, a ver. Perks, decíamos beneficios. Henry, founders, founders, fundadores, bouncing, bouncing, rebotando, brain, trae, square, cuadrado, spanning, mm, spanning or spinning. Ahí tengo un momento de spinning, ¿verdad? Sí, uh, girando, spinning. Enough. A ver, ¿quién me ayuda? Enough. Good, Ursula, suficiente. A top. Eso, ojo con, con las, los closed captions en inglés, a veces están mal escrito. Ahí tiene que haber un espacio. A top. Una parte superior. A top. A top podría ser encima de algo. A top. A top. Best es el superlativo de good. Good, better, best. Bueno. Ma mejor, iba a decir, más mejor. Más mejor. <ríe> bueno, mejor, el mejor. Best. Más the best. Mejor. Further, further, estoy con Henry todavía. Further es el más lejano. Ok, grow, sí. crecer. Sí. Enough, sí. ya lo poníamos ar arriba. Few, poco. Mm -hmm. Ojo con few. Ojo con few, lo puedo ocupar con plurales y singulares. Ok, dentro de eso que estamos viendo. There are few tomatoes. There's few lettuce. There's few. Um, there is few money. There's little money. Ok, provides, proveer. Fancy. Uh, ¿Qué dije que era fancy? Picky. Picky, right? Ok, spanning. Hmm. extendiéndose pero no es doble P, es doble N spanning grilling grilling, you love grilling eh, asar carne en la parrilla Ajá. mochis, los mochis son, son cafés son shots de café, podría decirse burn, burn quemar, ok munchies, munchies, exacto rollerblades hmm. wow Bien, Reina. Rollerblades. Ah, patines. Ok. Headquarters ah. es como la sede central de, de, de una oficina. Digamos que selectos. Headquarters is in Olímpica, aquí en San Salvador. Olímpica. That's the headquarters. Sergey. Sergey es uno de los fundadores. Ese es un nombre. Ok. Sergey. Ajá. Uno de los fundadores. Sergey y el otro. Larry Page. Larry Page and Sergey, no sé qué, como que es ruso el nombre. Laundry, do the laundry, lavar la ropa, lavandería. Bueno, lavandería sería laundromat. Square, decíamos, cuadrado. Esto, Edwin, endless, eh, creo que lleva doble L, endless, sin fin. 
Yes, endless, es con doble S. Errands, decíamos Elizabeth un día de estos, errands es um, los mandados. Let's do the errands. Okay, I'm doing errands. Hey, what are you doing, Elizabeth? I'm doing errands. Estoy haciendo mandados. I'm paying the electricity. Laundry, around, alrededor, muy bien, Arely. Fisio. Um, no, no es fisión. Es uh, fisio, es un diminutivo para decir fisiotherapy. Terapia física. Se desmayó. Me... Ay, no, está en la maca, qué envidia. Ok, perks, headquarters. Headquarters, a.k.a. Bien, a.k.a. His name is Eduardo. Ok, a.k.a. Uh, John. Su primer nombre, John. A.K.A. es un diminutivo. A ver, ¿quién se lo puede? Y esto es en los... En las tarjetas de identificación de americanos está... Eh, also known as. Además conocido como. Como o por. O por. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Good job, guys. Esto es su misión... Eh, vean algo en inglés, busquen el vocabulario que aún no conocen o utilicenlo. ¿no? That, that's very important. Eh, la tarea, como se les ha explicado, la dieta, que no es obligación, puede ayudar mucho a eso. Um, good. Let's move on. So, tonight we have to talk about questions using there is and there are. Hold on. One participant can share and. Ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta. So this is page 21, page 21. Ask and tell information about places that a company. Huh. Hey, this is very important. Do you usually receive guests, guests, guests in your workplace? Do you enjoy welcoming guests? Why? Cierta ocasión alguien me llamó, mi esposa, que había un visitante en la empresa y me hablaba bien quedito, bien bajito. Mira, como digo, le gustaría algo de agua. Like, Would you like something to drink? Would you like something to drink? Y se quedó, ay no. Mándame lo mejor así como escrito, tal cual tengo que decir en español. Ok. Y le dice, would you like something to drink? Ya se dio bien. Y solo le dijeron, oh, yes, yes, please. Uh, uh, let me have some coffee, if you have coffee. Is it black or... Y se queda... ¿Qué uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. So, what do you do in these cases, guys? Have you, have you been in this situation? You have a gringo in your job. <gasps> What do you do? Huh? What do you do if you have someone who speaks English in your office? Maybe I am in shock. You, you, you go in shock. I say that, excuse me, are you speak Spanish? Do you speak Spanish? <laughs> do you speak Spanish? Again, Eduardo. Do it. Do it, Eduardo. Excuse me. Do you speak Spanish? Excuse me. Do you speak Spanish? Better. Speak. 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 Do you speak Spanish? Uh, no. I don't speak Spanish. Do you speak English? Okay. A little speak English. Please. Okay. Please. Speak, uh, speak slowly. Slowly, okay. I am thirsty. Okay. Do you like drink a cup of a uh, a bottle of water? A bottle of water. Thank you. Maybe a glass of water. Or, yeah. Thank you very much. Then I see the simply. Good job, Eduardo. That's the way you just offers something, right? Like you will do in Spanish, the same thing. Same thing. Okay, somebody else, would you like to give it a try? I'm the gringo right now. 
Me no speak español. Sonia. <laughs> Esme, I'm sorry. Esme. Um. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um. Dijo, how, how do you drink water? I drink water with my mouth. <laughs> how do you drink water? Como bebe agua. Vamos todos. Hey, saben que tomen nota. This is very important. Les puede pasar. Okay. Would you like Okay, would you like something to drink? Would you like something to drink? Water, right? Y ahí le das el listado de cosas, de opciones que tenés. Coffee, okay. Water, coffee. Beer. ¿Té? ¿Cómo se dice té? <laughs> tea. T, sí, se, se escribe T E A, es T, T. A T, some water, coffee, a beer, some tea. Hasta ahí se ocupan los artículos esos. A, a beer, a T, no, some tea. Ok. Yo le diría, one moment, please. <laughs> okay. Simple, that's right. Okay. One moment. <laughs> Ahora, yeah. vamos, vamos con la realidad, porque a mí me preocupa eso. ¿Qué haces si de plano tú topaste y allá, no sé, qué, 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 qué hacer, ¿no? Pues el traductor de Google descarga la aplicación, ojo, esto es salvavidas, y ahí tiene una opción para que tú le dictes. Entonces, hay que pensar smart, right? Te vas, le decís ok, te acercas con el teléfono, ves que no se dice. Y ahí ves, ah, ok. Yo eso haría, así de plano, ya no, no sé cómo comunicarme en cualquier idioma, ¿eh? Ojo con eso, son ideas que les pueden salvar la vida, no es broma. Mi abuelo, que en paz descanse, se perdió la primera vez que fue a Estados Unidos porque el viejo solía caminar a las seis de la mañana todos los días, todos los días. Se echaba sus cinco kilómetros todos los días caminando. Y aún así le dio cáncer de páncreas y se fue. Bien raro eso. Pero anyways. So, let's go with the conversation. Let's do it together here. I'm going to read it. And then I will select some students, as usual. Okay. First part we have, let me choose this thing. There we go. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor in on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ms. Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. The conference room, it's next to the training room. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. Got it. How about, how about lunges? or recreational places. I repeat, how about lunges or recreational, recreational places? Is there a lunch? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay, lunch. What is lunch? It's a place where special guests, special guests await. Es un lugar donde los invitados especiales esperan. It's like you go to the airport and there is a executive or executive lunch. 
It's just for executive or businessmen, you know, traveling. Um, a building wing. What is a building wing? It's just one area of the building, one side of the building, a building wing. Okay, I need two volunteers. Me. Me, Edwin, who's gonna be your partner? Who's gonna be Edwin's partner? Me. Me, Jennifer, one, two, three, action. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I am the supervisor of Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's go. Tarot, is there a conference room? Is here. And if so, are there angel seers of Listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. Got it. Got it. How about low? Yes. Or... or recreational? Or recreation place. Mm -hmm. Is there a lunch? Yes, it's in front of the cafeteria, inside the new building wing. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Uh, repeat with me, Edwin. You say enough. 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 Um, es una F. Enough. Enough. Ajá. Y ojo con esto, cada vez que ven una G y una H, se convierte en una F. Son pocas las palabras que terminan así. It's tough. It's tough. Enough. Enough. Okay. Seats for listeners. So repitamos. Are there enough seats for listeners? Are there enough seats for listeners? Good job. Okay. Repeat. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. You got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. <laughs> hey, lo siguiente, todos, eh? How about? How about? How about? Era un... How about? Era uh -huh. como unido. How about? Correcto, tenemos vocales ahí. How about? How about lunges? How about? How about lunges? How about lunges? How about lunges? Ed? How about blankets? Good, better. Or recreational. 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 Uh -huh. Recreational. Okay, practice that. Places. 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 Recreational places. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you. Evan, select somebody. And Jennifer, select somebody too. I need somebody. Elizabeth. Ellie. Hi. Okay, Ed's Edwin, select somebody. Somebody somewhere. Giovanni. Somebody to love. Somebody to love. Okay. Ready? Elizabeth and Giovanni. Okay. One, two, three, Giovanni, go. Hmm. Uh, empiezo yo? Wait, wait, where's Giovanni? He's not interacting. Giovanni. Good morning. Are you Michael oh. Perez? Oh, there you go, Henry. Okay, one, two, okay. three, action. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jan Jenner. I the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. 
Nice to meet you too, Mr. General. Let's let's bet. I started. Is there a conference room in here? And um, <laughs> and if so, and if so, I can even hear this. And if so, I I don't there and now and now sits for listener. Yes, absolutely. The conference room in next to the training room. Got it. How about laundry or recreational place? Is there a laundry? Yes. Is it in front of the cafeteria inside the new building green? Excelente, ok. Ah, Henry, a mí me suena como que usted ya estuvo en, en otras clases de inglés y solo se le ha olvidado un poquito alguna pronunciación porque ciertas palabras que pueden ser más difíciles, o sea, más difíciles, eh, las pronunció bien y las que son más sencillas como am. Entonces, no sé si es que estaba distraído o algo, pero muy buena pronunciación en otro. Acá, por ejemplo, dirty. Ok, on duty, duty, super bien. Uh, acá solo se nos olvidó, ¿eh? I'm, I'm the supervisor on duty. Um, y no es Mr., decía Elizabeth, no es uh, Mr. Smith, creo que porque era Henry que estaba leyendo, right? Ok, let's, uh, veamos, Henry, let's get started, let's get started, let's get started. Let's get, get started. Más rápido, let's get started. Let's get started. There you go. Eh, sí, no le cuesta súper bien. Esto es uh, como un conector, chicos. And if so, hay que hacer énfasis porque okay. estoy diciendo, y si es así, ah, okay. Okay, y, y lo que significa, entonces, okay. eso, eso siempre lo vas a hacer como enfatizando, ¿no? Y si es así, and if so, ok, and, yes. if so. and if so, are there enough? Enough seats for listeners, ok. Um, Henry, creo, uh, lunch, 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 lunch. Ajá. Muy bien. Ojo con esa palabra. No es como lunch de comer, sino lunch, más suave. Lunch. Very good. The new uh, inside the new building wing. Decía um, Elizabeth. Nos comimos el. Aquí nos trabamos por algún motivo porque termina en de esta palabra. Inside the 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 the. the. El cerebro nos dice, no, vas a repetir otra vez el D. <ríe> Inside the new building wing. Ok. Good job. What time is it? 8.48. We have to continue with the next thing. So, look at the things in, in, um, in bold. ¿Cómo se dice negrita en inglés? Bold. In bold, ok. This is in bold, is there. So, that's the grammar in context how to use there is or there are in questions so let's complete the questions about the conversation then rewrite the answers but how do you what's the right thing here what are we missing there are enough seats for listeners come on come on are there are there enough seats for listeners? Very good. What about the second one? There are there a conference room. Is there? Is there? It's singular, right? A conference room. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that you have an article, a, uh, it means it's a singular. Okay. So in questions, as we saw yesterday, we started. You bring the auxiliary to the beginning. Okay. In this case, your auxiliary is the verb to be. So it comes to the front. Is there? Are there? Enough? Many? One thing. You need to use quantifiers. Start using quantifiers. Quantifiers can be enough, many, a lot, few, little, um, a number, 13, 20. Okay? 
So, and again, to ask singular questions, what do we use to ask singular questions, everybody? He's there. Uh -huh, exactly, we use the verb to be in singular and for plural questions, we use? R. R, as simple as that. Okay, good job. Okay, so we only have 10 minutes. Let's do this activity together. Look at the example. Is there a conference room in your company? Yes, there is one. It is next to the manager's office. So you are given the, res the answer and you have to build the question. What will be the second question? Are there training rooms in your company? Good job. Okay. Are there training rooms in your, yeah, your company? Mm -hmm. Una cosa, eh, como regla general, en todo regla gramatical ya, ya entendieron que estas se llaman preguntas cerradas y solo hay dos formas de contestarlas. Yes, there is, no, there aren't. Entonces, toda regla gramatical. No contractúas en las afirmaciones, ¿ok? Todo el tiempo. Eh, se escucha raro decir, yes, there's one. Se puede, pero eso es raro. Yes, there's one. Como regla general de gramática, vas a contractar en las negativas, en las respuestas negativas. No, there aren't any. No, there aren't any. ¿Ok? Porque se ve bien informal decir, no, there are not any. Es en especial con este, con esta forma de hablar, no es un tiempo gramatical. ¿Ok? We have no training rooms. We have no training rooms. Okay, next, number three, on-site clinic. Is there on-site clinic? Hmm. Esto debe ir unido, de hecho. A ver, ¿falta algo acá, chicos? Question mark. The question mark, okay. But other than the question mark, are we missing something? Is there... Your company. Um, in your company. <laughs> oh, yeah. But still, we're missing one thing. What are we missing? Is this a singular object or plural object? Singular. Singular. So I need what? One. Oui. One. Mm. An. The article. Very good. Is there an on-site clinic in your company? An on-site. Remember, an before vowel sound, a before consonant sound. No, there is not one. You see, this sounds horrible. No, there isn't one. No, there isn't one. Okay. Last restrooms in your company. Trina. Mm, help. How <laughs> are there restrooms inside a building? Good, Reina. Are there? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay. Decíamos ayer que vamos a ocupar algo en negativas y en preguntas. ¿Qué era? Contraction. No, contractions? No. Es a quantifier. Es un cuantificador que ocupa en negativas y en preguntas. Y el oh, otro. Any. Any. Very good. Any. Are there any? any? Se oye mejor. Restrooms. In your office. In your company. Are there any restrooms in your office? And the answer, yes. There are five restrooms inside the building. Ojo, hasta ahorita nadie me ha preguntado algo. 
que todo el tiempo cuando veo un punto gramatical siempre hay alguien que me dice, mire teacher, porque no, falga, no falta la gente tóxica en los grupos, ¿no? Se pueden hacer preguntas negativas, pues. Ok, sí se puede. En todo tiempo gramatical, ojo, lo que tenés que hacer es poner en negativo el auxiliar. Como ese es el que viene hacia adelante para hacer una pregunta, ¿no? Y ahí todo lo demás es la misma gata revolcada, como dice la niña Florinda. Okay. Aren't there any restrooms in your office? Can I, can I buy you into oficina? That's what I'm, we're asking, you see? Aren't there any restrooms in your office? Okay. Three. There are three. Yes, there are three, but they are filthy. Yes, there are three, but they are dirty. Oh. oh my God, dirty. No, 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 no. <gasps> Ajá. Okay, they're dirty, dirty. Difficult word. Palabra muy difícil de pronunciar. Dirty. No me sale dirty, ah, pues digo filthy. Hasta más inglés me escucho. Filthy, filthy. Sucio. Pero filthy es en cuanto a un objeto. No es como Cristina Aguilera. Dirty, dirty. Eso es, tú puedes ser sucio, ¿eh? Y en varios sentidos figurados. Pero filthy solo es para un objeto, un lugar puede ser filthy. Ok. Good. Questions. Doubts. Suggestions. Sugerencias, dudas, inquietudes. ¿Les ha gustado la clase o desean que incorpore títeres o algo otra cosa? Yo no sé. Let me know. Perfect, teacher. So far, so good? Yes. Yes. Come on. That sounds like Droopy, Henry. Come on. I feel very happy to be with you today. Cheer up. I, I really like your advice. Which one? For example, uh, what is the pronunciation uh, when you... Eh, unir las, el sonido de las de la, oh when you join uh -huh. the join sounds the, the word the sounds of word and True. the tip the tip eh, for example the, the diet mm -hmm. and the links that you share with us <laughs> I like them thank you okay cualquier sugerencia ideas que tengan, que crean que les pueda servir a la, a la clase háganmelo saber ocupen el chat de Whatsapp eh, eso es muy útil as well um, ¿saben por qué molesto tanto yo desde el básico uno con eso de la pronunciación? porque quiero que lo agarren porque miren eh, con, por experiencia personal, no ya 18 años en call centers me ha pasado tantas veces cuando tomaba llamadas que me Uh, me decía algún americano finally somebody in the United States cuando yo contestaba era como y luego entendí que era eso era eso, que no sueno mucho las T's, o sea, eso es nada más no es la gran cosa a veces me ha caído tan mal algún cliente que al final de la llamada le decía, hey, just so you know just so you know, I'm not in the States I'm in El Salvador too they were like, what? really? okay Well, thank you for helping me. Look, that's it. Porque muchos americanos son bien pesados. Muy pesados cuando saben que no estás en, en Estados Unidos. Hoy en día ya se acostumbraron bastante, pero hmm, al principio, oh my God. Una vez una viejita hasta me invitó. Yo trabajaba en una aerolínea. Mi primer trabajo en call center fue en una aerolínea. Bendito sea Dios. El mejor trabajo que he tenido. Y al final de la llamada la viejita estaba tan feliz que no se me olvida. Le digo, is there anything else that I can do for you? Típica pregunta. Is there anything else that I can do for you? And she was like, you know what? Yes. Can you book another ticket for me? And I was like, yeah. For who? For you. Do you want to come to Acapulco with me? And I was like, I cannot do it. I'm sorry. Y el señor estaba hablando en serio. Me quería llevar a Acapulco a la viejita. Y tenía como 90 años. Y no, se me olvida. Porque de verdad, sí, le juro que me quedé así. 
emocionado de, de lo contenta que estaba la señora. That was good. Bueno, chicos, that's it for tonight. Um, staying with Elizabeth. Yes, Elizabeth, 10 minutes. Por cierto, creo que tenemos un periodo de vacaciones, ¿verdad? Y se lo voy a comunicar por el chat. Le voy a averiguar bien cuándo es, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. <clears throat> ok. So, good night, good fight. Alexa, Marcela, Cibrián de Montenegro. Present, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Arely, Isabel Campos Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Dalila Abigail Hernández Meléndez. Daisy Carolina Angulo de Sánchez. Present teacher. Good night. Edwin Esaú Galdames Calderón. Good night. Good night. Elizabeth del Carmen Vázquez Pérez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Erin Melquisedec Castro Cortés. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Erling, hágame un favor y todos los demás, cuando digan I'm here, solo en ese momento enciéndanme la cámara para que les vean el rostro, porfa. Ok. Henry Giovanni Rivas Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Irma Noemí de Jesús Martínez. Irma se nos fue. Ok. Jennifer Beatriz Mejía Cepeda. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jill Yvonne Mengíbar de Castellanos estuvo con nosotros hoy. Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilar. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Catherine Beatriz Reyes Ventura. Here. Good night. Good night. María Epifania Castro. Present, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Marta Good night. Marisol Castillo Valladares. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Good night, teacher. Good night. Reina Elizabeth García Alfaro. Present. Good night. Good night. Silvia Evelyn Romero Bautista. Okay. Sonia Esmeralda Mauricio Orellana. Good night, teacher. And yeah, good night, Esme. Bye bye. Ursula Esteli Gómez Martínez. Good night. Good night. Oscar, 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 Oscar. Me parece que sí le tome la asistencia. Sí, ahí sí, está. Ok, Oscar, good night. Good night. Ok, Elizabeth. Hello. Ok, Elizabeth. Bien, esta es primera clase que estoy con ustedes. De hecho, yo suelo siempre en estas sesiones empezar a conocer a los alumnos porque es muy probable que estemos en el siguiente módulo, pero todo dependerá del feedback de, de los estudiantes. A ver, son cuatro preguntas muy relacionadas entre sí. La primera es, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia con el inglés en términos de, de venir de rebotar y todo? O sea, ¿cuánto tiempo lleva ya intentando aprender inglés? Si es que lo ha hecho así de esa manera. Uh, segunda pregunta, dentro de esa ir y venir ha identificado cuál es su área de oportunidad principal, o sea, qué necesita mejorar, o en, cuál es su talón de Aquiles, digamos, es hablarlo, entenderlo, escribirlo, o sea, listening, y, y la última pregunta, ¿qué estoy haciendo yo, Elizabeth, aparte de recibir las dos horas de clase, ¿hago algo más para mejorar, o solo me quedo con las dos horas? El micrófono. <risas> perdón, perdón, perdón. Primero un gusto, teacher, porque esta semana pude conectarme a las clases. Uh -huh. Y lo primero es que hasta hoy que me inscribí en el curso he como dedicado el tiempo específico para aprender inglés, vea. Uh -huh. De ahí, eh, no, la verdad no. Y lo segundo es, me cuesta mucho entenderlo. Eh, un ejemplo, eh, cuando entramos en la reunión vi que estableció una conversación con ¿cómo se Úrsula. Llama? Eh, Úrsula. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces había muchas lagunas que me quedaban que no lograba como, como... entonces uh -huh. siento que ese es como que más mi talón de Aquiles. Uh -huh. y... Pero ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia? O sea, ¿ya había estado en cursos o no? 
No, 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 no. ¿No? Primera vez. Ah. ¿Y se Primera realizó vez. una evaluación de nivelación al principio? No. No. Le ofrecieron no, no, no. este curso de una sola vez. Ok. Sí. Realmente Eh, lo que me... estamos viendo es básico. Ajá. Ok. Me cayó el correo, entonces yo mandé la documentación y así, y así porque Ajá. no. Uh Ok. -huh. Y, y lo otro, lo extra sería eh, eh, apoyarme con lo que usted manda en los grupos. Por ejemplo, ayer estaba viendo la imagen que mandó de, de Riz, de Rar, que más gráfico siento que eh, cuesta menos que, que, que se queden las cosas y sí siento que es más... Mi cerebro de imágenes y de, y de, y así de escribirlo. somos todos el 80% de los humanos estamos diseñados para aprender de manera gráfica exacto Sí, exacto. Entonces siento que eso es lo que más me ayuda. Y igual, video, descargué la aplicación, sí, aplicación creo, de la que mandó de buscar, eh, la que Lirik puso hoy en clase. Ah, Este, ah, que hay. de Juglish, juglish.com. Ah, ajá, exacto. Ah, Ese. ok, ok. O sea, sí ocupo como que los recursos que, que los Muy bien. que hicieron anteriores y lo que usted nos, nos está proporcionando. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ya había estado en los módulos anteriores. Sí, sí, sí. ¿En cuál módulo Sí, sí, empezó? sí. ¿En el 1? ¿Desde el 1? No, Desde ya el lleva 1. cinco módulos, ok. Yo pensé Sí. que desde Bueno, el 0 el 4 empezó no. ahorita. Ajá. No, El 4 el no 4 estuvo. no porque este, no me pasaron de un solo el 5. Creo que no se pudo abrir y me dieron la opción de... Ajá. Uh -huh. No, ya no había cupo, ok. Ok, sí, lo que estamos viendo es bien básico, de verdad. Hasta este punto eh, han visto el presente simple, el pasado un poco de going to, ING, y ahora pues esto, ¿no? Ahí les he estado explicando yo que cómo hacer la tarea, no sé si ya estaba en el grupo de WhatsApp cuando envié eso de cómo hacer la dieta. No es una Sí, tarea, sí, ah, ok. No es una tarea, eh, eh, per se que Isafor diga tienen que hacer esto. No, es algo que yo les recomiendo a los alumnos, en especial a los adultos, en llevar a cabo como un diario todos los días, hacer un verbo, una palabra, agarrar cinco verbos y cinco palabras relacionadas entre sí y estar haciendo positivo o negativo pregunta. El lunes hago el presente, el martes hago el pasado. O sea, los tiempos gramaticales que yo vaya aprendiendo, los voy haciendo en un cuaderno aparte. Y el punto es equivocarme. Porque en la medida que me equivoque, poco a poco, mi cerebro viene entendiendo que eso no es así y se autocorrige. Créame que funciona. Claro, esto es y cuando alguien tiene la necesidad de aprender. Hablaba con otra de sus compañeras que le preguntaba, ¿no? ¿Y por qué querés aprender inglés? Porque está bien joven. Dice, eh, ganas, me dice yo. Ok, por tener algo que hacer yo. Oh. Okay. No, yo no quiero trabajar en un call center, que no sé qué, me dice. Así estoy Y es bien, que, con el mínimo, me dice yo. no, y es que más allá de, 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 siento que ya es una necesidad saber aprender eh, inglés, entonces, Inglés, francés y mandarín. uh -huh. entonces, sí es muy importante, bueno, para mí es importante ver. Sí, no, Abre y muchas eso... oportunidades, eso la verdad. Exacto, y ahí le decía yo, ¿sabes qué es la suerte? Le decía, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué es la definición de suerte? La suerte es que te llega una oportunidad en la vida y estás preparado para tomarla. Esa es suerte. Y la mala suerte es que te llega la oportunidad y no estás preparado. Eso todo el mundo dice que tengo mala suerte. No, simplemente no se prepara para cuando vienen las cosas buenas. Entonces, ánimo, eh, yo que soy, me puedes escribir a, a WhatsApp si de verdad quieres eh, que algún apoyo, alguna idea. Algo que yo les digo es, eh, cuando están empezando, es grábenme un, grábense um, respondiendo una pregunta sencilla. Claro, en en primero, ¿no? Si es posible escribir en español, la pasas a inglés, revisa tu, tu gramática y luego empezás a practicar, lo metes en el traductor, escuchar, repetir, escuchar, repetir. Ya agarra confianza, agarra el celular y le grabo al teacher no más de 30 segundos. What do you do every day? Una pregunta bien fácil. What do you do every day? Every day I wake up early in the morning, I go to work, then I have lunch, then I come back home at about da, 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 30 segundos. Boom. Yo mando el feedback. Esto hay que mejorarlo. Esto se dice así, así como hago en la clase. 
No, Sí, eso, sí. eso ayuda muchísimo, muchísimo, porque sí es bueno tener a alguien que esté ahí, ¿no? Cuando uno quiere aprender. So, Sí, así es. ánimo, Ok. cualquier cosa, ahí estamos para servirles. Ok, gracias, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher.